Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to all of you for today's session. So, students, just let me know whether you people can hear me well. Can you hear me well? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Now, so, students, uh, in the last class, unfortunately, we had to stop. So we were talking about in documentation of controls. And the documentation of controls, we have discussed the methods of documentation of control. We have discussed narrative notes, flow chart, checklist. And the last topic is questionnaires. So questionnaires, I told you that questionnaires are prepared by auditor and questionnaires are circulated among the team of the company. Questionnaires are circulated and they have to fill these questionnaires. Right? The management employees, the company's employees, they have to fill these questionnaires. So questionnaires are of two types. Internal control questionnaire, ICQ, and internal control evaluation questionnaire, ICEQ. Now ICQ, this questionnaire, it asks the question about specific controls, whether they are present or not. And ICEQ, it talks about effectiveness of control. In other words, it's asked question about effectiveness. Now, if I, what does effectiveness mean? Effectiveness means controls are achieving their objectives or not. In fact, the purpose for which they are implemented. So I told you the question, for example, the cards of person entering the building are checked before they enter? Before they enter, they're checked? Yes or no? Yes, very good. No, now it is not good. They are being checked, but still can anyone enter the building without card checking? No, no, no one can enter. Very good. Yes, very bad. So you see here, ICQ, employees leaving the company, yes, must deposit their timesheet to get their wages cleared. Do they need to do? Answer is yes. If yes, control is working for ICQ. If no, if the answer is no, there is control exception, weakness, control exception, control weakness is there. It means, now, next point. The next point is, for ICEQ, can anyone enter the building without showing card? For ICEQ, if answer is yes, now here is control weakness. In what? No, no one can enter. No, no one can enter without card checking. If answer is yes or a no, things are good. Control is strong. Now you see here the inverse. Here control yes mean weakness. Yes, mean control is working because the format of question is like that. 
the format of the question is like that is it clear to everyone tell me please yes sir yes sir good now so iceq objectives they are these questions these questionnaires talk about objectives that building is safe from the unauthorized entry you say yes it is safe no matter whatever you are doing card checking or finger uh, you know biometric you know the, the finger scanning retina scanning whatever you are doing the building is safe or not they say yes yeah. in one company they are using biometric okay good the other company they are using card swipe the third company they are doing another method so i so you see here in other words i told you before as control objectives may be same for all companies but specific control to achieve those objective may be different this sentence is clear which i am speaking control objective may be same for all companies but specific steps taken may be different specific control activities may be different to achieve those objectives across different companies this sentence is clear conceptually yes yes, yes. so i c e q r objective based so it means so i c e q has another an advantage can be applied to different organization if thoroughly draft if thoroughly drafted yes different organizations the same can be used because you are talking about objective you are not talking about specific control now so they are there because they talk about objectives come to the notes so yes or no icq i have already told you no answer indicate the deficiency in case of icq are purchased in ic checked to goods received notes before being processed or remanded yes very good no means weakness icq icq they can concentrate significant error and omission you know that omission error deficiencies mean objectives objectives oriented yes controls are effective or not now so example can goods be sent to unauthorized supplier yes means problem is there no means control is good now advantages and disadvantages of icqs and icq now now so then we yes, have if you then sure all controls are considered if they are drafted thoroughly they are quick to prepare easy to use yeah because they are drafted in terms of objectives they are easier to apply a wider system wide variety of system than i see so i see you talk about specific control security guard is checking the card yes or no so in other company system is different so this cannot be applied over there icq iceq this is what i wrote over there as well now the answer is iceq should enable auditor to identify key control yes iceq objectives 
when objectives are being met so these are strong control strong control important control for which management is that control objectives are being met now auditor will test those controls so iceq identify key control which auditor test in the control testing yes then what are the significant control which are working wonderful let me check those you are saying they are working wonderful let me check let me let me test the control and of course they identify deficiencies as well i see you when objectives are not being achieved deficiencies are there where sub detailed substantive testing will be required i have to talk about it uh, with you people in the last class the principal disadvantage is that they can be drafted vaguely not carefully we said the the condition is thoroughly properly if they are doing box checking exercise just doing control questionnaire because it is required so that might be a problem then they can may contain a large number of irrelevant controls yes means that irrelevant means for example they say we are talking about financial statement contradictory control exam uh, people may be answering regarding that they wear mask staff wears mask over there they sanitize their hands so that is not related to financial statement but when when they are answering these questions answer like this so an irrelevant control unusual control circumstances you know i told you the limitation of controls i told you the limitation of controls that controls are basically drafted for predictable circumstances and if circumstances are not predict yes so unusual controls mean so similarly when you are preparing questionnaire you prepare questionnaire for the predictable circumstances unusual circumstances you may not identify very 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 important this is also important all are important but it is very important auditor drafted a questionnaire in which there were 20 questions and out of which two questions were regarding payment 20 were uh, remaining 18 were regarding invoice authorization ordering quality is being checked or not good it is being monitored or not so two question regarding payment their answer was received that they are weak control but 18 control question they are working wonderfully now we can say 90% control work wonderful but these two control which are weak they are if your cash is not safe what is the what is the benefit of remaining 18 control so when we draft questions it's only two questions answer were against the control strength so and so you see, if they give the impression all controls have equal weight all controls have equal weight they give the impression in many systems one no answer will cancel out a strings of yes answers one no answer regarding cash regarding something important all other controls becomes worthless these points are clear tell me Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right. Now, let us proceed further.
the client because who is answering the question companies staff companies employees they are answering the question they are answering the question so when we ask them question they may not tell the exact answer they might be telling lies they may not be telling us the true situation of the company there is a highly like it is highly likely yeah they may not be responding the question when they are not telling the truth how can we really decide on the basis of you know uh lies that how the controls are working problem will be there now let us proceed further so then it is done let us proceed further so the next is yes come to the sales cycle first now we will talk about that how can what are the control objectives of the company regarding the different accounting methods and how companies take specific steps specific control to achieve those objectives how does the company do now so students let us talk about it so first of all sales cycle i will not be talking about the third column today the first two only this i will be talking about in the next class next saturday okay now so students control objectives order should be accepted for the goods available in stock so when the customer is placing order now we are thinking from the perspective of company right now forget the auditor forget the auditor we are thinking from the perspective of the company now so order should be accepted for goods available in stock procedure control procedures sales officer must check the availability of stock before acceptance of order from the customer sales officer must check you know when the customer this is the practical step implemented by company to achieve this objective that so the customer places order they will check availability and then accept the order another another company what does they do for example they say order is placed on the website and website is integrated with the inventory control so whenever customer enters the goods website automatically rejects it if it is not available in that quantity it happens you know that now the next point is the second objective of at this stage is appropriate record of orders received appropriate record of orders received customers place order with you being companies are prepared to receive order you may misplace it you may not note down all the necessary details may forget some of the important details 
So what is the solution? The solution, two solutions are there. The order should be on a standardized order form. Sorry. Standardized order form. So that all the details should be obtained. So that all the details are obtained. And the second is, order should be, form should be sequentially pre-numbered. What is sequentially pre-numbered? That, that printing of the numbering of each form. So that if, if any form is misplaced, you can identify. And that should be multi-copied. Normally four copies of form are produced. One is retained at sale department and the remaining are sent to the other department. I'm not going to tell right now where they are sent. Now, next point. Credit sales to be made to credit worthy customers only. This is the objective of the company. You will not be like that the company selling goods to credit to everyone and for any limit. What will happen? What is the risk? If they are selling credit goods to the to those customers who have bad credit rating, what they will do? Those customers will buy goods and will not pay and will become bad at loss to the company. And a proper year credit limit, it should not be too much. Credit limit high. You are, you are giving too much credit on credit that you it may create liquidity problem for the company. So the company has to achieve, achieve these objectives. So perform credit check. Now practical step. When a new customer comes, perform credit check. Obtain references. Verify those references. What are references? That who will give you your guarantee? Now, next. The next point is, Defined credit limit policy for credit customers to be approved by senior manager of company. Yes. A proper year credit limit. How to achieve it? This is the step. The company should have credit limit policy by the senior management and that should be, that should be followed. Now, let us proceed for that. Goods are dispatched. Student, is it clear? I am trying to explain two things. What are the control objective for sales cycle at different stages? And what are the practical steps to achieve that, which are called controls? Are you able to understand it? Tell me, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This, this relationship. So remember, if controls are not achieving, controls must achieve control objective. Specific. It's, let me give you an example. For example, if I'm saying, okay, 
the objective is i want to stay warm in this winter weather cold weather you say mr hamza be careful electricity ke uh, wires are there i say i want i'm talking about getting warm you know in this cold weather you say mr hamza when you are using computer do not drink coffee near the computer i say controls you are saying right but this it is not meeting my need right now the target i want to achieve this is the blunder who do you know objective is different and you are telling different control which is not addressing that objective you cannot do this and expect mark marks you cannot do this i hope you got my point which i explained are you game mr hamza for example do not uh, have too much caffeine on empty stomach i say i am having i am having pain in my leg you say do not have caffeine in the empty stomach i say what did it have to do with that you are right but what i have to it has to be done with that pain in my leg means i i'm trying to make you understand objective and control so to should address objective and different companies use different i for to stay warm i am wearing jacket another person is wearing some coat the third person is has switched on heater room heater home all three controls are good if they are achieving the objective that's not the point now so the point is you have to tell relevant control you cannot say that person okay uh you are you want to stay warm okay switch off the lights um, what it has to do switch on the light what has to do with that nothing i hope it is clear now goods ordered are dispatched cuz we are going to dispatch customer the goods we mean company whatever they have ordered that should be dispatched the so goods ordered are dispatched the customer has ordered carrot we should not be sending them onions or potatoes right quality right quantity right item yes yes now how to make it sure so one person pack the goods as per the sale order and the other should counter check it counter checked by a specific person one person is packing the goods the other is counter checking and verifying the same goods are being dispatched and both should sign good dispatch note now next the next point is appropriate record of goods dispatched that no goods are being dispatched from stores so goods are leaving now goods may be stolen from the store and they say we have dispatched to the customer so wherever goods are leaving going being dispatched there must be appropriate 
रिकॉर्ड now so student how to make it show so whenever goods dispatch a multi copied pre numbered gdn normally four copies they must be issued a pre numbered multi copied gdn must be issued now the next is goods should be delivered to the right customers right customer it should not be like that mr a has ordered delivering to the mr b or sometime it may happen mr a may receive the goods may decline tomorrow that i have not received so proof of receipt should be established so how to make it sure how to achieve it practical step a copy of gdn must be sent along with good dispatch and customer must sign that copy and company should make that signed copy send send a copy of gdn to the customer with the goods customer receive sign the gdn bring that back to you and keep that gdn signed gdn as a record that the right person has received it now students so sales invoices issued sales invoices should be issued for the goods dispatched you have dispatched onion and sending invoice for carrot inappropriate now to student how to achieve it the invoice should be prepared and one person prepared the invoice and the review with the copy of gdn gdn which you are producing above this called gdn one person prepared invoice the other prepared by reviewed by and both should sign it now so student now customer sends payment check or cash so whatever they send safety should be ensured how to two persons present at the same time they open the check post and record it students next appropriate record of cash received cash received pocket it no a pre numbered sequentially receipt must be issued in the name of the deposit cash now students these two column third column i will discuss in the next class the first two column i want you to just have 5 minutes from me and try to link conceptually you have not to memorize it you have to grasp it that what is the control objective at this stage at this stage and then how to achieve it specifically link it is please go through it be quick
Say it again, please. I couldn't hear you. Please go through it and let me know, is it clear for it? Is it clear, student? Tell me, please. So I have a question. Sure. Yes, please. Uh, it is not so clear for me uh, when it is mentioned that it is written that for credit sales to be made to credit worthy customers and the control, the control procedures uh, for new credit customers reference. What reference? What what? These two things, these two things are for it, not only one there. These both controls are for it. The first one is credit check. You get information about them, who they are, what is their history, what is their market reputation. Reference is the similar thing. Reference is that you tell me your bank details, your previous supplier. I want to get information about you. You want credit sale from me? Okay. But tell me who, who has been your supplier before, who has been your bank, okay? So, so if, if uh, we, can, we can do that, you got the point? Yes, sir, yes, thank you. Right, welcome, welcome. Now, 
I appreciate your question. So, tell me, is it clear to everyone the remaining? Good. So let us proceed further. Some people don't respond. I don't know why they are on silent mode. I ask, keep asking again and again, again and again, but they, they don't bother to respond. I'm sorry. This is, this is not fair. People should at least say yes or no. Now, next. Purchase system. So four steps, purchase requisition is generated. The second is purchase order is placed. Purchase requisition, yes. It should not be happening that goods are available there and you are placing, preparing purchase requisition. Excessive goods are there already. So purchase requisition is generated. So the objective is avoid excessive stock and stock out as well. Purchase requisition should be generated at that time to two objectives, stock, avoid stock out and access stock. So reorder level should be defined. Your level in F2, you may have studied. And economic order quantity. Reorder level is for to avoid stock out. This is to avoid excessive inventory. Yeah. Now, appropriate record of purchase requisitions. Appropriate record of purchase requisitions. Normally, stores department, warehouse, they prepare purchase requisition and send to purchasing department. They do that. Then purchase department, prepare purchase order. Then goods are delivered by at the stores again. So purchase requisition. So that we should know what we have requested and when it was requested in how much quantity is what it was requested. And normally four copies are there again. Purchase requisition must be sequentially pre-numbered and multi-copied to achieve this objective. Purchase order is placed, now the next point, by the purchase department. Pur purchase requisition goes to them by stores. So the first objective, when they are placing purchase order, purchases at competitive prices. Now, objective, how to achieve? Two different companies might be do doing in different ways. One company is doing it that they call tenders, no tender, they invite and they place goods with the lowest price. That's correct. 
द अदर कंपनी से ऑथराइज सप्लायर लेट अस हैव अ लिस्ट ऑफ ऑथराइज सप्लायर एंड ऑर्डर्स मस्ट बी प्लेस्ड विद दो सप्लायर ओनली सिंपल इज दैट ऑथराइज सप्लायर लिस्ट टू मेंटेन व्हिच आर सेलिंग एट लोएस्ट प्राइस एंड ऑर्डर शुड बी प्लेस्ड विद देम The next is appropriate record of purchase orders. Appropriate record of purchase orders placed. Yes. So. You are now purchase department is placing orders, right? Again, four copies should be maintained. Sequentially pre-numbered, multi-copied, four copies. You are sending one copy to the purchase department, ah, uh, to the purchase supplier. One copy you are retaining with yourself. One to the accounts, one to the stores, like this, that everyone get to know what we have ordered. Goods requested are ordered. What does it mean? Requested. Who requested? What they requested? Stores. What was the requisition? An order is same. It should not be like that. They have requested different things, and we are placing order for different things and quantity. So how to achieve? Purchase order must be counter check with purchase requisition by a specific person. Counter checking and sign. Purchase purchases should be authorized. Purchases should be all, all purchases authorized to wide fraudulent purchases. It should not be like that. The staff is buying makeup kit for their wives and the fiancés at the expense of the company. No. So that's why that should be authorized. So purchase order must be signed by the purchase manager, some senior officer. approval approval must be given now goods are received at stores goods are received at stores to ensure that goods ordered are accepted customer is, the supplier has dispatched the goods at store and store department should accept only those goods which were ordered how to do that on receipt goods must be matched with the copy of purchase order yes and then accepted and can be even checked for quality as well appropriate record of goods received how to for the goods received at store a sequentially pre numbered and multi copied grn must be issued sequentially pre numbered and multi copied grn must be issued that what has been received four copies one is sent to the customer a supplier one to the accounts one is retained one to the purchase department now next payment to suppliers payment to suppliers students so payment for goods received and purchased only yeah very important what were received and purchased purchased and received basically it should not be like that we have received goods Four items, and they are sending us bill for another four items. 
or some different amount of goods. So what should we do? Account department, three things, purchase order, copy, GRN, purchase order is the cop order placed. Then copy of purchase order, goods received note, what have been received? And invoice, these three should be matched. They must match GRN, purchase order, invoice received from supplier. And then sign the payment voucher attached, payment voucher. One is payment voucher and these three documents attached. And then they issue check in the name of supplier. Now, next point. Is it clear, students, to everyone? Tell me, please. Yes, sir. So, inventory, objective, and procedure, you will read yourself. Because it is same inventories for sale and purchase, same thing. Nothing different. Now, what else? Okay. Come to the cash and bank. Only valid cash payment are made. Not any fraudulent payment. So segregation of duties for custody of cash and accounting records. First of all, because if same person is holding cash and same person is maintaining accounts, he will manipulate. He will withdraw cash, student. Only authorized staff, specific person. Not everyone. When and all checks should be prepared when all the source documents have been independently produced. For just like that. I told you copy of purchase order in the previous case. Purchase invoice and payment voucher. Mash and signed, then check should be produced. Then relevant document should be approved, then check should be produced. Now, next, all cash receipts that are occurred, they should be recorded. Receipt and payment, whatever is being paid, received, that should be recorded. So manager should review every cash payment before release. Review, approve. And daily cash payment, cash book and payable account, daily reconciliation. And monthly bank reconciliation prepared by one person and reviewed by senior official to identify cash book and bank statement difference. I would suggest to you, please read this cash book, two columns. And if there is any confusion, please ask. Cash book. Please ask. Uh, so I have a question. Sure. Uh, I it's a bit related to the sales cycle for the sure. bank part, for the cash and bank part. Uh, uh, Sandeep, just a minute, just a minute. Uh, uh, for the cash and bank. Yes. Okay. Which one? Yes, please ask. Yeah. Uh, is this also part of the sales cycle? Like you, you would uh, reconcile your payments. Of oh, course, yeah. you know, they are all interlinked, right? 
but yeah. inter- cash is related to that you are making cash sale if you are receiving from the customer it is related to that as well you are right okay. i appreciate okay just we are discussing these things separately just try to understand the system sales system cash system as well and of course we cannot uh, do do like that this system is a separate system than the other company no it is linked with that okay they are all interlinked thing yes any other question anyone please ask sandeep is it clear your confusion is clear dear yes yes sir thank you now next the next point is payroll payroll the salary wages system again cash is linked with it as well so payment is made only to bona fide bona fide means valid genuine employees not the bogus or goosed employees so what is the first step yes i will explain this point this point is not properly explained here so then new employee you can correct it must be set up by hr department only without involvement of payroll department new employees must be set up by hr department only without involvement of now the next is so it will happen so chances of goose employee addition will be reduced personal files held for all employees personal files mr whenever new employees join each for each employee they they make a personal file for the mr hamza so my my contract my cv my job status my promotion my leave everything will be updated in that file to indicate that file indicates me basically so and yes these all hiring terminating over time everything must be authorized must be authorized now as per situation we will talk about rule of thumb is that everything should be authorized any changes in the employment status it should be informed to hr as well so that the files can be updated files can be updated now next and then use of time clocks to record time work time clock or time sheets or the attendance biometric whatever it is means 
it can be varied from the company to company and that must be approved especially you know overtime work work must be approved by must be approved by supervisor and the next is only employees with valid employee number which are issued by hr they are paid so to avoid all this to make it sure these are the controls in place yes all payroll costs are recorded so whatever so pre numbered clock cards pre numbered time sheet activity report means different name can be there as per company pre numbered so that nothing could be misplaced what they have done and payroll record and employees cost in the accounts payroll record and employees cost that should be reconciled on a regular basis that is correctly cost has been updated as per the record checks issued and what is bank transfer list bank transfer list is that mr a employee mr b c d salary salary total salary approved this is the bank transfer list so what is the amount here and what is the amount on check compare and then record through the check with through the payroll cost same has been recorded so preparation and authorization of check and bank transfer list by different person segregation of duties one checks and authorization one person prepare the check other authorize bank transfer list prepared by different person or by different person to avoid any fraud if i am preparing i am authorizing i can add anything so you see here so it will be making sure everything is recorded all benefit deductions are computed correctly computed correctly so payroll amounts and benefits calculations and calculation and review by different person different person doing these two things different person is doing these two things now i hope it is clear the next is control this is the last topic revenue and capital expenditure is it a part of today just a minute yes so cash and bank inventory i have given for home payroll done capital expenditure i will be discussing and then i'll be ending the class in the next class i will be talking about it and most likely i will be talking about some practice questions as well so yeah all expenditures are properly authorized revenue expenditure and capital capital expenditure are big asset purchase non current asset purchase property plan equipment purchase order for capital item should be authorized by senior management yes so requ requisition of capital item it will be different form than the goods requisition yes in yc it should be approved by the person who authorized the order same person in yc it should be marked with the proper journal ledger code journal ledger code of the non credit asset so it will also ensure that properly they are purchased uh, uh, they are not fraudulent purchases fraudulent payments 
Now, do remember the linkage between, don't forget, control objective and control procedure. So, to ensure all non-current assets are correctly recorded, so capital item should be written up in the non-current register. And non-current asset should be, this is called reconciliation. Physical asset, general ledger, general ledger, non-credit asset register, they should be reconciled. General ledger and non-current asset register. Regularly reconciled. And you know, another reconciliation, which is not mentioned here, another reconciliation, non-current asset register and physical verification of assets. That is also done. That whatever assets are present in the company and non-credit register, reconciliation of that is also done on a regular basis to ensure all assets are recorded. Yes. To ensure all are recorded. Is that clear, students? Tell me, please. All right. So it is clear uh, for today. That's it. So students, we are going to meet on Saturday. Please, I'm telling you, in advance, the test result with the names. I'm sorry, I'm forced to do this. We will be announcing in WhatsApp group of class. You, you can say, I'm threatening you. Yes, I'm threatening you. You need to prepare. I'll be sending the message as well. We will be preparing tests. And you, those who have not tested yet, uh, attempted tests yet, they can attempt in one or two days more. I can give relaxation in the first test. And we will be doing this. I'm telling you in advance. So to make you people work, actually, and I don't want to my result to be disturbed because of someone else's negation. So thank you for joining me today. So God bless you. We'll be meeting on Saturday. Till then, goodbye. Goodbye.